Here, the computer starts and at preboot detects the user's phone using Bluetooth. Once the phone is detected, the user will be prompted to authorize the login and complete the process using biometrics on their phone. Only a phone containing the correct key can access this device. This login can occur while the device is online and offline. From now on, this phone can be used by the user to log into boot logon and Windows on this computer. Using single sign-on, the user account is logged in, as is Magic Endpoint, and is available and ready for use. The user can start accessing online applications using no user action. Here, the user opens Microsoft 365 and connects. Rather than the phone, this uses Magic Endpoint and SAML-based authentication with no user action required. Now, to demonstrate how the device trust signals work, we have created a policy that requires devices to be fully encrypted. If a device is not fully encrypted, the user will not be able to log into online applications on this device. To test, let's log out of Microsoft 365 and start the decryption on this device. Now, because the endpoint is being decrypted, the policy takes effect immediately. When the user tries logging into Microsoft 365 again, they will be denied access. And because the endpoint has a persistent connection with the Magic Endpoint Center, this event-driven action was detected.